Yeah. Greetings and salutations. Welcome to the Citadel of New Church. I'm your host, Captain, and let's jump in right into the recap. But just for a forewarning, that I will be taking certain liberties and changing some names since I don't want to slaughter or butcher them. With that out of the way, let's get into the recaps, shall we? We had a recent war with Susan 2. We won by two stars and just barely over 2%. They put up a good fight, very well done, had it come really close. They had 112 and 211s left. We only had the 112 left. Much respects to Ron for holding off the perfect. As far as our clan as a whole, we had a couple people that had some six packs, much like Mr. Ozzy Osbourne at number seven, Mr. Omniverse at number 13, Mr. Hansel's at number 17, myself at number 18. And Green Never Dies at number 23. He's the kind of guy you want to see him take off his shirt because he's so sexy. But until then, we're going to jump right into number 2 with Shiitake Mushrooms. Shiitake Mushrooms has the E-Drag clone followed up by a Laloon. He has a Houndloon CC, so he's just going to basically Sui Hero in this beginning. This nice little BK is tanking just well and dandy for him. The thing I love the most about this kind of uh, attack is sometimes you could either clone a dragon or you clone some loons. And this time, holy shenanigans, that's a lot of loons. <laughs> so basically, they just completely annihilate that entire compartment, let the Archer Queen survive over by 3 o'clock. Now we come over down here by 6 o'clock. The loons are going to start coming in at this hidden Tesla in towards the Wizard Tower. More La Loonage coming up towards the... 8 o'clock area. What's funny right here is this one loon goes in towards the Inferno Tower, that poor little guy. And then the rest of it is still continuing on. Drops the haste to make sure everything's good to go. More Laloon coming over by 10 to 11. The Warden is going to slightly make you wonder if he's going to desert them for a couple pops, but then he bounces back. Got an extra haste, that way he can drop it right towards that air defense. The best thing I like about this hit, too, is right there by the mortar, you're going to see a disco happening pretty shortly. The best thing about that spell is it literally does look just like that. Disco Inferno! So very much. Well done to him. Good job, Shiitake Mushrooms. We're going to go into number three with Mr. CeeLo Green. He does much of the same thing. He knows it's a Houndloon CC, so he's going to E-drag the hell out of it. He's going to have some Sui Hero action going on as well. Drops the Archer Queen first. Gets a couple buildings off. Drops the Giant. Makes sure that he she's going to be able to get the steps in. Barbarian King almost in the same spot as the other attack. Going in towards, again, a hidden Tesla. A couple skeletons pop. Nothing that he isn't going to be worried about. Suicide Blimp freezes everything up in the hithers. Then when he goes to clone, he actually gets the dragon. Removes everything in the compartment. Gets rid of this Archer Queen herself. Queen's going to be doing her thing towards 6 o'clock. Unfortunately, she's not going to make it to that Archer Tower, but it's going to be just barely under the brink. Same with the dragons right there in the core by the eagle. They're going to just barely get that. So as you see up here, towards the top, he's got the lunage going on. Same thing with this warden. There's a couple moments that make you wonder what the hell he's thinking about. He must be contemplating life. I don't know, maybe he's reading into the politics of America that just makes you scratch your head. But until then, Hound pops, and under the words of Primus, there's too, never, never too many puppies. Tomes right into that wizard tower. Completely annihilates this base. Has pocket loons and a minion just for cleanup. Speed this up. So again, much props to Mr. C. Low Green. Alright, and our next one is, I want to say from Alberta, Canada. He's going to be taking a slightly different approach. He's going to be doing an Archer Queen charge starting over by 3 o'clock into that compartment right there by the town hall. What's amusing is this bowler does his job. Yeah, Charlie Sheen winning. This bowler, on the other hand, 
Emilio Estevez that shit. Like, he totally bombed it. The only thing you got going is the Mighty Duck Man. Best of luck, Emilio. So over here, you've got an Archer Queen that's going to be shooting some storages. Unfortunately, it's a time killer, so we're going to speed this up. Couple skeletons and shoot, 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 shoot. Drops a rage, tries to help speed this up. One, two, three. All right. Now that she's stepping into the Archer Queen, it's going to be three shots and then Shaboopy, she gone. Drops the Barbarian King over here by six o'clock. That way it funnels both of them into the CC, hoping to pop that Barbarian King ability. All the barbs are going to take on some extra troops if there's any on the ground. Wizard Tower is following up behind nicely. Oh, wait, they gone. So uh, right here in the Hither region is when the baby drops out. Poison nabs everything but these two little witches. They're just on the brink, just enough to be a nuisance. Pops another round of skeletons, but it's okay. The poison's going to annihilate them, and the queen's going to one-shot each. And then she's in prime location in a rage on an eagle to help speed this thing up drops the extra rage that way she he knows she's gonna live all throughout that compartment early haste and then the lunage comes right up here by one to two o'clock blimp trying to get a nice little cut into the base to get some traps soaked up everything's looking good and then kind of a spoiler alert this Grand Warden apparently just says, screw it, and he completely bails on everything that was going on, so thank the Lord. <laughs> but yeah, Disco Inferno right here, and everybody stops directly on top of that Inferno Tower, which was really funny. Archer Queen is still up and rocking. And yeah, again, thanks, thank the Lord we didn't need the Grand Warden. Grand Warden, because, yeah, that Wizard Tower really could have screwed things up if things actually went sour. But very well done to Albert. Speedy to do it. Boop, boop. All right, next base, I want to say, is number seven. Yeah. So with this one, he's going to be doing an Archer Queen charge. He's hoping to go in towards that 430 by the Expo slash Inferno Tower. Going to have this giant slash hogs pull the CC. Unfortunately, it's a Hound Loon, so he's going to be sitting there beating on that thing for a little bit of time. Nothing that another uh, little button called 2X ain't can't fix. Ooh, look at go. Got to 2X that stuff because, yeah, let's not lie to ourselves. This is going to be really boring. <laughs> So he's just beating it, 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 like it was a 13-year-old boy. All right, now that the Hound is gone, he's going to drop the Rage when he goes into the range of these Archer Towers hit, hidden Tesla. DK is going to start taking out some of these buildings with Wizard behind. The nice thing about this, he's going to go into the range for only a moment, and then he bounces right back out in order to get out. Even though the Inferno was locked down the Queen the whole time, now that I said that, heaven forbid, please excuse me. So while she's down into her ability, she's going to take out the Inferno Tower, take out all that stuff. Skeletons pop. She don't care. She ain't got time for that. She's going to sprinkle a couple of hogs to help in behind the Barbarian King. And then he's going to drop the ram kind of naked all to itself to beat on maybe two layers of walls. And then he's going to start his hogage. Coming in over at 7 o'clock. As the hogs are coming in, he's got to trip two separate little bombs. Nothing that the one heal that he drops actually kind of saves. Very well placed. Wizards in behind to get the town hall and big heavy stuff like that out of the way. A couple more giant bombs that he's kind of soaking up within those heals. At this point, the queen is kind of doing nothing <laughs> but it's still nice that she's up full health just in case they, she was needed for cleanup if need be hogs are still nailing it out of the park right into another heel i do like the miner over by 10 30 i'm not sure what he was needed for but just in case good to go speed this up boop, 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 doo -doo. and much well done to uh mr ozzy osborne the next one I want to do is number nine with Hansels. 
Hansel's got to do a sad thing. He's going to have the E-Drag clone coming in from 12 o'clock right into the core of this base. I want to say it's the same thing where he has a whole bunch of Lunars coming in and just completely annihilates and guts that core. And the funnier thing about it too is it's not even the dragon that gets the Urcher Queen kill. It is the Loons with Lucky Drops. So right into the Air Sweeper, but he ain't got time for that. He's got to be dropping all that stuff. e drag is going to be floating. He is in range of the air defense as of right now, but the Air Sweeper actually saves him to get a couple buildings. The Skeletons, on the other hand, because he's so slow, he doesn't get the kill immediately, but upon his death, he says, screw you guys, I'm going home. So he does Sui Heroes over by 130. Wizard in behind to help funnel the BK. Archer Queen's going to take to the 3 o'clock area to get rid of the air defense and the cannon. Pop the ability. Should make it all the way to the Wizard Tower before dwindling out. Archer Queen's kind of just doing her thing because, let's face it, her AI sucks ass. And then I want to say it's right at the corner where she's beating on the storage is where she peters out. So now that we got it 6 o'clock with the dragons, funneling them in. Only thing at this point that could probably be a nuisance is the Inferno Tower, but he has a Rage and a Freeze in the pocket to help alleviate that. With the way these dragons step forward directly into that Wizard Tower, then the Inferno, very nice. He's got the side dragons still doing their thing. Over there by the Expo, he has a dragon full health on it, so even better. Then over here by 10.30, he's got a couple loons that soak up a red bomb. Sucks, but they're still pretty good. In a haze, hurrying up towards that air defense. The hound's ready to pop, but unfortunately for this raid, she stays up the entire time. But because he killed it, it's all good to go. Not very often you get to see these kinds of raids where dragons are prominent. So, speed this up for cleanup. Boop, boop, doodly doo. And very well done to Mr. Hansel. Right, so the next base I want to do is Omniverse with number 10. Going to have a queen charge on this one. He has a couple wizards behind the golem to help try to remove all those uh, trash buildings by 6 o'clock. Unfortunately, he doesn't get too many, but... It's still enough to get the funnel correctly for the queen. She's got to be taking her time because, again, she's a woman. That's what they do. It's like, they're, it's, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, the CC pops out. He's got the rage. He's got the poison. He's going to nail out of the park. He's going to. Waiting for this. Do, 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 do. And then one, two, three. Barbarian King over there at 1030. The beat on a collector he's gonna start slowly slinking his way towards that wall the angle of this ram i am actually amazed at how well this was because the way the barbarian king starts to go outside he bounces back in <laughs> like every time if i was to do this he always walks but it's very well done to mr omniverse here and the other fun thing about this is one shot from the Archer Queen triggers the B Barbarian King to go to her, pops the ability, removes her in the Inferno Tower with that freeze. So that was pretty sweet. Then he starts trickling his hogs over by 12 o'clock. Take it a couple bombs, but nothing that one heal or two isn't going to help. And then right at this point is when uh, they're going to break through the wall and the healers will swap to the Barbarian King. The hogs are going to keep making their way around. Unfortunately, with this heal placement, there's one little group there that kind of take a beating while like a few amount kind of get the heal, but they keep marching. These skeletons and traps are unfortunately going to be their undoing up until the very end. So the Barbarian King's going to keep walking around with the healers on him as a tank. Queen's at full health, so even if the Hogs were to completely 
take a complete dump on my chest, this is still good to go. So the skeletons are still on those hogs. He's going to go back for that hidden Tesla, but unfortunately it goes down. So he's just like, ah, fuck. Speed this up. And then well done to Mr. Omniverse. And we're going to go down to number 20 with Green Never Dies. This one has some Velks or a Cherry Bomb, I think they used to call it for Town Hall 12. 10, 12, 10. Burp, burp, burp. So he's going to start over here at 6 o'clock with his Queen Walk. She's going to beat on a couple buildings, just like a woman. Speed this up. Do, 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 do. One, two. Then over here by the 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock range, he's going to drop the Barbarian King when he's ready to help funnel. Unfortunately, he's going to trigger a random Tesla farm that does catch him off guard. But I think I'm talking way too much ahead of myself. Tries to trigger the CC with the hog, doesn't quite get it. The queen does step forward enough to get it. So that was kind of muy bueno there. And then he one-shots the witch. Then she starts going to the left. So there we go. Barbarian King right there at 10 o'clock. The unfortunate Tesla farm right there completely smokes the hog and the wizard. Skeletons pop. He's going to pop the ability, help the funnel. Cherry bomb directly into that Tesla farm. Rest in peace, Mrs. Velk. Then the bull is right behind. They're going to help basically just keep mowing everything that they reach enough for the Velks to tank and the bowlers just to mow down. So this is one of my other favorite things of this raid too, is this Barbarian King. I don't know how he survives this, but he does. <laughs> like, ah, anytime I was to do this, I would fail. But somehow he makes it. The Velks are just completely gutting that core. Back end hogs still in the bag. Finally drops him on the Archer Tower and the Wizard Tower over by 2, 3 o'clock. At this point, everything is just GG. We're going to speed this up. Bloop, bloop. But yeah, this is a very nice hit. Tesla Farm was completely unexpected, but very sexy. Much like if you ever take off his shirt. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Next one we have is number 21 with Mastro. He's going to have kind of the same thing with some Valks. With this one, unfortunately, I'm going to start off speeding it up because, yeah, there's a lot of uh, beating the walls and I don't feel like singing. I don't think you want to hear that either. I probably sound like I have autism, but until then, they're going to just keep on doing their thing. Scoo doo 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 doo. And then there she goes finally. Oop. Engaging with the defenses over there at 6 o'clock. He's going to have his Barbarian King over by 3 o'clock for the funnel. Wizards behind. One Velk to help alleviate that tension. And then once that storage is down, they're just going to cherry bomb right into that air defense. Bowlers in behind. They're basically just going to keep bouncing every single thing. About right in here where the king walks out, but the mo oh no, the majority of the Valks actually bounce. Never mind. A uh, good chunk of the Valks are still inside the center of the core. They're the tank for the queen. Even though everything at this point could be sniped from the outside if everybody was to walk, except for maybe that CC building and the air sweeper, the healers, if they were to stay behind, would have been GG nonetheless. So right here, Bowler just completely bounce on that queen, bounce on the bomb tower. Back end hogs over at the wizard tower by seven. More hogs still in the bag. Very well done. Speed it up. And then on our last base, what would it be? Number 22. With this one, he's going to do an AQ charge that turns into a walk. You could see what he was trying to do here, but unfortunately it didn't quite pan out in his favor. But it still worked out nonetheless. Very nice recovery. You're going to start the queen walk going from basically 3 o'clock 
it's clockwise. He's going to try the wall breaker into this compartment. He does get it, but she doesn't go in. <laughs> she just completely negates anything that he just worked for. He still gets the CC pull, still gets the CC kill. One at a time, just slowly working his magic. The goblins, the wizard, the witch, the baby, they all go down. They all go down, down here. Yes, I know I can't do impressions. Anyways, the queen is still just going to keep right on doodling her thing. Unfortunately, Sam takes out a healer, but it doesn't really matter at this point. She's going to rage the queen, so that way when she does engage the queen, it's going to be nice three quick shots. Up there over by 12 o'clock the barbarian king is helping the funnel for the hogs giving a little tankage as well the way that this base kind of looks as of right now it's almost a straight shot for the hogs the only thing that could truly hurt him would be springs and random giant bombs outside of the healers but the way he has this placed it's very well done keeps right on a moving has a couple hogs down there by 6 o'clock to help take out that expo to help save the healers. Still has a loon in the bag. Poison for the skeletons, and at this point, it's just clean up. So again, well done to Mr. I Not Me. All right. And with that, just like to rehash, very great war. They put on a good, good bout. Very well done up until the very end. Very nice. We look forward to round two. And with that, I hope you guys have a good evening and good night.